Welcome back to the Big Red Barn in Round Top, Texas. This is the winter edition of the Big Red Barn. And I'm Franz Helwig. If there's anything you see in the video that you would like to buy, please email me. Uh, if you'd like larger photos, I can email them to you. Or if you have any questions, please contact me. Also, I'm also buying all the time rare pieces and whole collections doesn't matter how big the collection is i'll take everything and we'll begin with a video four with an old favorite hawks queens pattern cider pitcher it's eight and three quarter inches tall shown in the back of the first ecga catalog as five times diamond cut handle great fly flies eye effect with the Joined punties, excellent quality blank. It is $7.95. Uh, two of the uh, Libby Nash tall hawk wine, optic wines. They are unsigned. The pale blue or teal, six and a half inches tall. They are 55 each. There's a really nice um, block diamond by J. Hoare Inkwell. Shown in the uh, teal catalog, I believe. Uh, very, very deep cutting, great sterling top, beautiful floral repose, four inches in diameter and four and a half inches tall. And it is $14.95. There's a signed web, large match holder, super heavy weight, really fine blank, has the trapped air bubbles similar to how Pearpoint did them. Um, here's the strike zone, cut in uh, diamonds. It is 125. Here's my last sugar shaker. It's cut in a pinwheel, crossed elliptical design, probably Clark. Um, these are these don't come up very often. They're hard to find, and this one's only 125. There's a large seven and seven eighths inch diameter. Jewelry box by C.F. Monroe, very heavily cut top. Wide miter sides, star cut base, and it is only $7.50. It's a very neat shaped Hawks Gravik pattern uh, pitcher. Lovely florals, hollow, um, fluted handle, really nice piece. The bottom's engraved also. And it is 2.95. 14 inch tall cylinder vase, very similar to Queen's. Um, Ideal did a similar pattern. Bergen did another similar pattern. Not, but I'm just not certain who cut this one. But very fine quality, heavy blank, uh, nice cutting. If it were Queen's, it'd be $2,000. But since I don't know who did it, it's 8.95. A really great sweet pea or taza vase in the brilliant pattern by Higgins and Cider. Nice size of 10 inches in diameter and 10 inches tall. Really fine cutting. The cane gives it a lot of brilliance. The hop stars are deeply cut. Hop star base. And it is $9.95. The big 10 and a half inch diameter salad bowl in the desirable Kensington pattern by Hawks. Lots of great cutting, so, so many hop stars I can't even count them. Um, it is $8.95. Here's something you've probably never seen before. It's the Idlewise pattern by Unger Brothers. Um, has a faceted neck ring, uh, unique pear shaped, very um, pretty in person. It's 12 and a half inches tall and it's $2.95. There's a superb uh, cane and Harvard design deep bowl. Has a cane vesicas framing the uh, hob star. Great uh, detailed hob stars. It's nine inches diameter. It's a nice buy at only two fifty five. It has the recessed base where it could have been used with um, a compote turned upside down, and they were sold separately but could be used together. Nice piece again at only two two fifty five. The signed Tuthill Primrose or Phlox pattern picture set has four matching engraved tumblers, 
solid rounded handle and the set is only $4.25. More Libby Nash items. It's a cute miniature pitcher in opalescent pink draped ribbons, five and three quarter inches tall, and it is $3.75. Here's another Libby, Libby Nash pitcher in opalescent green draped ribbons. Very lovely ribbon effect. Eight and a quarter inches tall, and it is $3.75. Nice little bargain, eight inch diameter bone, um, fiery heavy blank. It is $95. This is a kind of a unique piece. Some of the elements were left in a matte finish. I'm attributing this to Clark or Maple City. It's about seven inches in diameter, uh, nice heavy blank, and it's only $55. Another cane and hopstar bowl. It's nine inches diameter and it is only $95. It's a pretty floating hopstar with florals in between. Nappy, double punting handle. It is only $45. It's a ruffled rim, low profile uh, compote by probably Hawks. I haven't found a signature. Hopstar base, little feathered motifs in between the diamond and closed hopstars. The ruffle rim is really cute. It is 145. It's a unique deep bowl uh, with circular horizontal miters. Cute little, it looks to be rose petals, but then the flowers, I'm not sure what they actually are. Um, pretty piece in display, and it's only $95. There's a large 10 inch salad bowl in Glenwood by J.D. Bergen. Uh, it is only $275. So, a seven piece pitcher set. It's um, pressed glass with enameled florals, ruffled rim. Two or three of the tumblers have uh, little nicks on the rim. Set's only $125. A show special, I would do $95. Carafe cut in the Holland pattern by Hawks. It's signed. Has punty cut neck, St. Louis diamond, whatever you like. Uh, $85 for the carafe. There's a low bowl, 8 inch diameter. It looks like Empire. There is a crack somewhere in the pattern. It's hard to find. Uh, as, that, as such, it's only $10. I have a pair of these double X cut Vesica Sunburst design carafes, seven and a half inches tall, and they are only 65 each. I have four left of these nut dishes by Hawks. They're signed, nice cutting, nice blanks, four and five eighths inches long, and they are 35 each. It's a neat little um, decanter, it's just cut in flute. The handle's also cut in flute and it is only $35. Another nice Hopstar bowl, nice blank, uh, clear glass, eight inch diameter, and it is $85. Uh, these came from a collection and I just have them to try to get rid of them. They're, uh, it's a single Waterford candlestick, still has the green and gold seahorse label. It's 11 and a half inches tall. It's $99. I would do 50. Uh, I've got a pair of the seahorse candlesticks. Still has the acid mark and the stickers. 99, but I'll do 50 on the pair. So a neat trellis design lobo. Kind of flares out. 8 inch diameter. It's $3.95. I would do $1.99 on it. It's a nice little piece. And that concludes video four. Thank you.